I am pleased to introduce the 44th president of the Explorers Club, who is going to tell us a little bit about GLEX, bringing together some of the world's most accomplished and fascinating explorers. Ladies and gentlemen, President Emeritus Richard Weiss. So I'd like to invite everyone who's sitting here to the Global Exploration Summit in Portugal, the Azores to be specific. Now, we've all seen really pretty places, but I'm going to show you some place that is mind-blowingly beautiful. de agentes, de atores que estão, digamos, na primeira linha uh, do desenvolvimento, da investigação e da exploração científica. E o que nós trazemos ao arquipélago, o que trazemos aos Açores, eu diria, de uma forma muito simples, são os heróis do nosso planeta que estão hoje a construir o futuro. E ter os holofotes da ciência mundial sobre os Açores desperta muito interesse e nós só conseguimos projetar e materializar esses projetos científicos com parcerias. I can't even tell you how many countries I've been, but you know, when I think of hospitality and forward thinking, I think of Portugal, I think of the Azores. O Glex Summit leva os Açores à dimensão global e também faz um reconhecimento aos Açores como uma verdadeira centralidade, não só geográfica, mas de organização. A sua realização, por sua vez, projeta os Açores no mundo, não só como destino turístico e, neste caso, com cientistas que têm uma especial sensibilidade para as questões do desenvolvimento sustentável. Temos aqui um grupo de pensadores, de exploradores, de pessoas ambiciosas que visam, sobretudo, partilhar o seu conhecimento, o seu expertise e penso que nós, de uma forma humilde, devemos acolhê-los. Isso este é um evento em que há um compromisso aqui muito firme em relação às questões da sustentabilidade. I mean, the, the Azores are, are stunning. There's no two ways about it. You know, you look out at the sky and sometimes it's where heaven meets earth. This is really a special place. There's so much I want to see here, so I'm really excited that they did it here. I'm a huge fan of Portugal in general. The coastline here in San Miguel is absolutely incredible. I've the, uh, the volcanic formations, the color of the blue water, the fact that you can swim in a hot spring that is going into the ocean uh, is not anything that I expected. The Azores really is at the center of so much which is happening in all of the domains of space and land and sea. A conjugação do espaço com o oceano, uh, dos vulcões com o mar profundo, uh, de uma natureza ainda intacta, a necessitar também de atenção e de ser protegida e que tem o potencial de transformar esta natureza num modelo de desenvolvimento sustentável que hoje já se encontra aqui. Lex has been absolutely overwhelming for me. Like it has been astonishing. Like the the incredible caliber of people speaking, so inspiring. Like it was, I've never been in such awe of a, a group of people in my life. So it was just a phenomenal event. It becomes like a family because we all relate to each other and uh, and and help each other. Este foi um feliz reencontro porque em 1996-97 conheci pela primeira vez o professor James Garvin e, portanto, nessa altura foi quando foi possível travar conhecimento com, com o colega James Garvin e partilhar algumas das características da, da ilha do Pico, do vulcanismo dos Açores. I mean, look at this place. It's a perfect laboratory for all that we hope to understand and think of the kids that could learn from just talking about this place. So when they say GLEX Global Expedition, it is a collection of some of the most amazingly interesting people I've ever had the opportunity to meet. And by the way, I work in the space business. I met so many interesting people and I heard so many interesting talks. All these incredible people who are, it's the every man of exploration. This has been so such a great experience. I, I got to meet fellow explorers. I got to hear amazing stories about um, being out in the field and discovering things. 
uh, but also just the hospitality of the Portuguese and the Azores has been tremendous. And of course this, this event is just extraordinary. We've gathered together really unique individuals from around the world that are united in their belief that what they're doing is really making the world a better place. And it's thanks really to Manuel. Oh, this event was wonderful. It was extraordinary. It was like being with a big family of kindred spirits. I think what really stood out for me is the theme of uh, inclusion and togetherness. We can't continue to keep working separately. We need to come together. What's next is, you know, working on bringing the planet together. As I think is being illustrated by all of our wonderful ex experts is the integration between the leadership in all these domains, from space to the lands to the deepest oceans. Uh, we're finding that the uh, tools and the uh, research uh, that has come from each of these seemingly separate environments uh, becomes far more powerful when we gather them together here at the Global Exploration Summit. Uh, we're now truly in what I consider a golden age of exploration.